Miranda Parks, Slumper. Slumped in the corner like a teenager at a party, this work by Miranda Parks seems to be caught between two states. Is it a sculpture? Is it a painting? Where does one end and the other one start? These are the kinds of questions that Parks' art poses for us. She makes paintings that sit on the floor, or like Slumper, fit into part of a room's architecture. While some abstract paintings might have a built-up brushy surface, Parks's paintings push this further with their billowing, sagging, exuberant three dimensions. Slumper began with a piece of canvas, nine metres wide and three metres high. Parks laid the canvas on the floor of the Invercargill studio she was occupying during her tenure as the William Hodges Fellow. The canvas was so big it had to be folded into thirds to fit onto the studio's floor. The canvas was painted and then scrunched and crunched and arranged on the painting supports, which are too small to be up to the task of pulling the canvas out flat. Stripes are a recurring feature in Parks's paintings. She describes them as the simplest way of putting two colours together. Interestingly, Bridget Riley, the British painter best known for her eye-dazzling black and white paintings of the 1960s, used stripes in her paintings for exactly the same reason. But where Riley's stripes are pristine, Parks's stripes are warped and dissolved by the twists and bulges of the finished canvas's arrangements. Parks is interested in the way that the scrunching of the canvas serves to undo or destroy any sense of a picture that might have been built up when it was flat. Miranda Parks is a recent graduate of the University of Canterbury School of Fine Art. She made Slumper specifically for the Christchurch Art Gallery, where it was shown in a 2006 exhibition entitled Out of Erewhon, which showcased the work of younger or emerging artists with links to the Canterbury region.